Hi guys, it's Ray here from Man City Fan TV. Might be a little bit hoarse today, a lot of shouting and screaming at last night's Checker Trade trophy game between uh, Shrewsbury Town and City's EDS, that's our under 21s. Absolutely fantastic time. Um, this, we put out a couple of videos last night uh, whilst we were there and uh, it's but probably one of my most enjoyable games for quite a long time. My, I took my son with me, paid a pound to get in, uh, absolutely fantastic and he loved the game and the atmosphere and the very friendly nature of the uh, Shrewsbury Town fans and all the staff there, absolutely fabulous and uh, big thank you to all, all you guys. On to today, we're going to talk about Raheem Sterling. Is it rumour mongering at its finest or is something actually going on behind the scenes? We had it all last year uh, with all the fake news, the fake chat about Raheem going to Arsenal and uh, Wenger being interested and City wanting to sell him, uh, maybe as part of the Alexis Sanchez deal. I said it at the time, there was absolutely no chance that Pep would sanction such a thing. All the noises coming from Pep were very positive and uh, it just I couldn't believe it would happen and there was no reason for it. And uh, like what uh, we expected, nothing happened, nothing materialised, it was a load of rubbish and uh, Raheem had his best season ever, won loads of, a uh, couple of trophies, loads of plaudits, scored lots of goals, loads of assists, integral to the, uh, the way we played, an absolute fabulous season he had. Now Sky Sports uh, are doing it again. They're claiming that uh, Real Madrid are monitoring Raheem. What does monitoring mean? You know, are they looking through binoculars at him? Or are they tapping his phone? What does it all mean? It looks like uh, it's another poor story. Uh, it looks like a very poor story indeed to me. Um, it, I just think, isn't it likely that all big clubs or top clubs are looking at and monitoring the top players? It's only natural uh, that that would happen. Now, uh, Pep says that he wants him to stay. Uh, and he's, come, he's very vocal again, Pep saying that he wants Raheem to stay. And uh, he's, as I said, he's publicly said so. Uh, but he's also admitted this time that uh, agents can have a say in these matters too. Now, that is a little bit different um, to last year's situation. I, I don't think agents were mentioned at all. It was just a story linking him to Arsenal and Pep just poo-pooed it and knocked it down and battered it away. This time it feels slightly different. And so it kind of, you know, the conspiracy theorists think maybe there's something in this. Now, I did a video on Raheem Sterling and his contract situation probably about six weeks ago, six or eight weeks ago, talking about uh, the fact that he's now got just under two years left on his contract. He's on £180,000 a week. Apparently, he wants uh, to be on a par with the top earners at City like uh, KDB and Aguero uh, to be on the level of about £250,000 a week. That's what his agents are uh, apparently pushing for. And we said he didn't sign his contract before the World Cup. Him and uh, um, Gabriel didn't sign their contracts. Uh, apparently, they were waiting to see uh, whether they pulled up any trees at the World Cup. And if they were on fire, and then they could quite rightly command much higher salaries. Well, uh, I don't think ne either of them did. And Jesus has um, gone on and signed his contract. And uh, that's all uh, obviously gone quiet over there. So the only one left is Raheem. Now, in the video I did uh, um, back in June or July, I said uh, not many clubs can afford Raheem. If they wanted to buy him now, honestly, we're talking in the region of uh, at least £100 million. And if, you, if you're buying uh, goalkeepers for £60 or £70 million, uh, Raheem Sterling, at, I think, 20, still only 23 years old, he's got to be worth at least £100 million. And if you've got to pay him 250 k a week or even £300,000 a week, who can afford him? In, in England, I mean, he's obviously, uh, you wouldn't expect him to go to United or Liverpool. There's only Chelsea left. Yes, they could afford him, but I can't see them paying £100 million, uh, for his services. Uh, you look abroad, uh, Juventus have just got uh, Ronaldo and there's no way Ronaldo would sanction that. Um, if you're sterling, I don't believe. Uh, Ronaldo always wants to be number one. Bayern Munich. I can't see them wanting to pay 100 million plus and uh, 300,000 a week. And then you're left with Spain. I don't think he'll fit in at Barcelona. They've, they've already got, for the next two or three years, enough good players and uh, they spent their money. The only place, realistically, that could potentially be interested is Real Madrid. Now, uh, my feeling is it's just agent talk pushing this link to Real Madrid to try and force City's hand. Um, but it's not the same City that you'd have encountered five or ten years ago. This city won't be pushed around by anyone anymore. 
Uh, it's not the case where we have to pay through the nose to get players to come to Manchester, to come to play in England um, and to play for City. We're in the Champions League. We've been in there for the last five, five years or so. Uh, we're winning Premier League titles. We won three in the last seven. We're winning League Cups, FA Cups. We're challenging um, across the board for all the trophies. So any decent good player would want to be interested in, uh, in what Manchester City have to offer. I think Real Madrid could still sign him before the end of the transfer window. There's only a couple of days to go. Um, so it, it just feels that pressure. There's, I don't see any reason for Madrid to, to go after Sterling. He's a good player, but I just don't think he's at a high enough level for them. Would they, could they take him to the next level? I'm not sure. Um, but if he went there, at least they'd be, once again, they'd be challenging for things like the Champions League and uh, their, their own... Um, a championship, so he'll still be fighting for trophies. He'll still be in a good position, better than he was five years ago. More likely to win stuff. So I can see, uh, obviously, the attraction for him to go to Real Madrid. Uh, but as I said again and again and again, it just feels like his agents putting out stories, uh, trying to force City's hand, trying to get them to sign uh, the contract uh, at a higher level than they actually want. Now, one good thing about more City fans, more City fans I know, especially the older ones, um, is that we understand the situation. We understand that Raheem has no allegiance to Manchester City. I mean, he's from Jamaica. He lived uh, his early life in London, I think in West London. He played for QPR. He went to Liverpool. He had no. He didn't feel like he had that allegiance to stay with QPR. He went for. Some people say more money, some people say more opportunity. It's probably a combination of both to Liverpool. And once he found his career stalling at Liverpool, um, he moved on to Man City. Now, Man City offered him more money, more chances to win trophies, and that's been a, a fruitful move for him. He's won, I think, two League Cups and a league title, and he's now playing one of the best manager in the world. Um, and he's in a very good position to win more trophies at Manchester City. I still firmly believe, even though Liverpool have had a great start to the season, as have Chelsea, uh, that Manchester City is a place to be for the next two or three years, especially whilst uh, Pep Guardiola is still around. It's the best place in, the, in England to win trophies. So City, all-time City fans, we know he has no allegiance to, to City. He can come and go. Um, and uh, we won't hold that against him. Most of us won't. We'll just accept it as what it is. He's uh, a footballer looking for the best for himself, for his family, for his future in terms of money, in terms of opportunities, in terms of trophies. And uh, yeah, we'll be disappointed if he moves on. Uh, absolutely no doubt about it. But we're not going to, the most of us, we're not going to uh, pester him and abuse him and uh, come onto Twitter and... Facebook and other social media uh, and uh, embarrass ourselves. Sadly, some of the newer fans, some of the younger fans, um, they may not be as sensible as some of the older fans. I mean, maybe we're wise because we're old. Uh, or we've got more in our hearts to do with City um, and we're less likely to, to do these, um, make these knee-jerk reactions. And uh, it is really silly kids out there on Twitter and other social media are having a pop at Raheem for even thinking about moving off and not signing his contract. Just let it, I just say let it be, you know. Um, if you really support City, City will carry on with or without Raheem Sterling, hopefully. Uh, we, we want it to be with Raheem Sterling and hopefully they can resolve the contract situation. Uh, but there's absolutely no need for that that minority, that vocal minority who want to come out and shout out uh, about Raheem and abuse him or be rude or besmirch him. It's not, just don't please, just don't do it. It's, it's not worth it. It's embarrassing for yourselves and it's a waste of time for us proper City fans to come and slap you down. Um, so whatever happens with Raheem, um, we really do hope he stays. Uh, I've been saying that all summer, uh, but the longer and longer it goes on without him signing this contract, the nearer and easier it is for him to leave, for him to just say, I'm not going to sign this new contract. I'm going to get a massive, absolutely massive uh, signing on fee if I run out my contract, run it down. He'll only be 25 years old by the end of his uh, contract at City and uh, he could expect a massive transfer fee, sorry, a massive signing on fee from a new club and a massive 
uh, wages. Um, if you're not sure about how all that works, please just go and check out my uh, previous video on the Raheem Sterling's contract. There's no need for me to just go over and repeat the old ground. Um, all the information and the opinion and the backup is there in that previous video. Uh, so what will happen? Guys, let us know. What, let us know what you think. Uh, let us know in the um, comment section below this video. Do you think Raheem should stay? Do you think he should sign his contract? Do you believe that the, the club should buckle under and uh, agree to his agents and his demands financially? What do you think we should do? Just give us your feedback. We'd love to get your comments. We try and reply to each and every comment on uh, the YouTube videos unless they go a little bit over the top. Uh, just try and uh, stay polite and uh, objective uh, as we try and do uh, ourselves. And as I said, we'll try and reply to every single one of your relevant comments and just uh, give us the feedback. Guys, um, if you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, please, uh, this should be nothing stopping you by now. You've seen plenty of uh, what we've got to offer uh, with our player interviews before games, uh, with their interviewing fans, during games interviewing fans, after games getting fan uh, reaction, interviewing ex-players. Uh, you've got to have seen... Uh, some of Andy's fantastic, uh, I think, six-part series uh, of interviews with David White. We've got more player interviews coming up. Uh, lots and lots of content, anything to do with City that we can be involved with. We're there. Uh, we're where the action is, going to EDS games, that's our under-21s, going to academy games, going to women's games. And we try and give you as much content as possible, especially we will do that over... Um, the international break will give you lots of new, unique content. No one else is doing the stuff we're doing across the, the spectrum, the, that broad range of uh, 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 activity we're involved with, the, that broad range of content. No one else can offer you that. You'll get your fix of uh, Manchester City information. One or two videos every single day. Match days, we're there. Five, six videos. Uh, sometimes it, there's no stopping us. We're like those uh, Duracell bunnies. We just keep going and going and going. See you around, Blues.